<laughs> I know, I'm terrifying. <laughs> hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Seth. And I thought I'd do a little segment of like painting and talking with Tess. Don't mind the fact that she looks like crap because it always happens. Or that she's probably wearing the same shirt she's worn in like 12 videos. Hi guys. <laughs> I haven't been making videos a lot and I know I say this every video. So, you know what, I'm not even gonna, you know. I've already said it. I, I haven't been making many videos. But hopefully something low maintenance like this will get me making more videos. Um, I feel like it's mostly because I'm in like my nanny garb like 90% of the time, you know, t-shirt and just frumpiness because kids don't care what you look like. <laughs> but I'm working on Angel by Olga Auer and he's got about seven-ish layers of very pinky mottling and I'm about to bring out the um, yellower tones. So I've used, let's see, what did I do? I, two, I did two layers of quinacridone, quinacridone crimson 01. It's going to be flipped, get over it. Um, two layers of that and then I mixed Genesis red with titanium white for like a bright pink and I think I did one layer of that, and then I did magenta 08, quinacridone magenta 08, one layer of that, then I did three layers of Diax purple 02, um, I did those kind of really thin mottling layers in a really, like really uh, small circles and really thin, um, paint because I wanted to get kind of a general purpley pinky color and after that I did this color um, I mixed white with Genesis red and um, just a tiny 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 bit of bismuth yellow 07 I think. Genesis yellow works just as good next time I get a yellow it'll be Genesis yellow because bismuth yellow is a little bit bright but um Still Reflections on Instagram suggested actually, she actually does kind of an orangey crease color, so I think I might mix this up to be a crease color later, so I need to keep that. Normally I dump my paints. I have one bowl that I just kind of dump all the paints into, and that kind of keeps most of it clean. Like, I'll dump the paint, and then I'll just kind of wash out that bowl with a paper towel, and then I can just kind of keep using that bowl, um, because most of my colors are pretty different until the very end. If I had some mason jars, that would be awesome. I know a lot of people use mason jars. Oh, and it looks like I have a purple there and a green that I've been saving. What I need right now is... I'm actually going to dump this purple. What I'm going to do right now is a yellow ochre layer. So, I have my mini mop brushes. Which you can kind of see through the angel limbs. I've got about... I, I like to have a mop brush of each color, so like, see here's my mop brushes here. Hey. And, and let's dump that and clean it out. And I become pretty good at like using maneuvers that won't splatter, but be really careful when you've got the head right there like I do. Especially when you're using a fan brush, sometimes you get splatter. And that's not fun. Let's hope I hit the trash can that I can't see. What was I going to do? Yellow oak. So I just got a new nannying job. And I'm very, ex well, kind of, I don't know, because part of me is like, all right, so she said she's hard of hearing, and I'm kind of, I don't know, my dad might kind of maybe think that it might be a scam, but I don't think so, the way she talks, and you know, she sends pictures and stuff like that, but um, she said she might be hard of hearing, which would make sense why she hasn't, like, called me, and now there's, like, issues right now where she's got too many emails, and she, she can't get my emails, I keep getting the message send failure, and I'm just like, ah, please don't hire somebody else. But, um, it's through care.com, it shouldn't be a scam. She sounds legit, so. 
but hopefully I'll be starting that soon if I can contact her. That would be nice. I hate to be the kind of person who's like, I'm fat, but I can't help but notice I was a lot skinnier when I started making these videos. Hopefully this new nannying job would help. Um, but yeah, if you go back to my very old videos, I was like just starting to gain college weight and I was still pretty thin. And I don't necessarily... I mean, I'm only concerned about my weight for like health reasons. I'm not that like... You know, I'm not one of those people that always thinks I look fat or something like that. I normally don't care too much. But I do know that I've been a lot lazier and I just kind of want to get more active. I don't care about how I look as much as how I feel. And how healthy I am. I always grew up with a skinnier sister, so I was just kind of like, but she had low self-esteem, so she was always like, ah, I'm so fat, and I just grew up hearing that, and I was just like, no, I don't even care. <laughs> but in my theater days, I was always active, and always just moving around, and scheduling helps, like when you've got a set schedule for your day, and that also helps with things like depression and anxiety, just having that schedule there to kind of keep you going from point A to point B throughout the day and not leaving you in moments to let your feelings catch up with you, though it is important to acknowledge those feelings at safe times. But yeah, sleep schedules affect that a lot. And right now I just don't have that because I work late with the girls that I work with now. I don't have to go in until sometimes noon, sometimes it's two, so like I'll stay up really late, which I've always liked doing. But I love how we're seven minutes into this and I haven't even started painting. Morning, Paris, the city wakes to the bells of Notre Dame. I get that in my head every time I realize I'm slouching. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this won't. Yeah, a little bit more thinner into this. This new um, thing right here that I use, it drips really slowly, which at first, like it's like drip, 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 like at that pace, and it's literally like one drop at a time. But it's kind of helped me use less thinner, so. And it's nice because I can kind of mix it up and see the consistency without having to dump something and then realize you've got too much or too little. It's nice. My parents are going to be home soon. I've cleaned out half the studio. I'm start. I'm actually moving to a beach house because my parents, um, basically we, we have three houses right now. So we have this house, which is our main house, and um, the lake house, which we got because my mom wanted one. And the now we have the new beach house because we're going to sell this house so that we can kind of keep up the lake house which i was like why can't you just sell the lake house but this house hasn't sold yet so right now we're kind of upkeeping three houses so we have my dad who's always kind of going back back and forth to the lake and we have um and i'm watching this house and the cats because we haven't moved the cats over yet these are the eyes I'm using for him, by the way. I probably should have eaten before this video because I'm starving. I haven't eaten today. Yet. They're really pretty blue. And I'm thinking we're going to go dark hair with him. I might send him to both Mandy and Kara so that he can get rooted and painted hair. Or I might paint his hair myself. I haven't decided yet. All right, so here we have a fan brush. This is just yellow ochre mixed quite thin. I'm using a fan brush here, and I also have a mottling sponge just for dabbing. So like, as you can see, it doesn't have much paint on it because I only use it to dab off paints. There's the belly plate. I'm just gonna go with this. And before the mottling, it was mostly neutralizing layers, and I did a little bit of blushing because layers like blushing and creases, even though I hate creases, so I kind of tend to do as few layers of those as possible. Um, I kind of build those up a little bit in the beginning and then add on to them later.
The big bells as loud as the thunder. If you didn't know, I'm obsessed with show tunes. But I'm pretty sure you knew that. If you've seen any of my videos. <laughs> I will have a new studio in the new house. It'll be smaller, but there's better lighting, so that's nice, at least. And we're just pouncing off what we've gone over with the fan brush to take some of it off, but kind of in an uneven, kind of mottled way. With the belly plate. I'm going to be doing that a lot because my little hairs always get in my face and it gets itchy. But um, I put this on the arm of the chair, the belly plate, just so it keeps that shape. See, like, if that's the arm of the chair, it kind of stays in the belly plate shape. Just make sure you don't bump it. If you've seen Sylvia Escara's Angel Prototype, that's kind of what I'm going for here. Maybe not quite as pink, but I always loved hers. I like the, and it had like dark hair, blue eyes. Oh, and normally I add a little bit of matte varnish to these all over layers. I didn't with this one, but just so you know, they, they move a little bit better if you add just a teensy, teensy, teensy bit of matte varnish to these fan brush layers. I like to do them with uh, yellows and greens I do with a fan brush for the most part. Because um, yellow modeled sometimes doesn't look as good, and if you do the ripped sponge like you kind of do with flush layers where you rip off the top of the sponge to dab over it you get kind of a speckled look which is sometimes okay in in like when it's just a little bit with flush layers but with yellows it looks a little weird So it's a very, very, very subtle difference, but um, I'll, pop, I'll be doing two layers of this, and then two layers of a yellowy green. This is my favorite brush. I use this to pounce over creases, and it like get like it'll get the yellows out of those creases. So I don't need yellow creases. I like purpley red creases, but I'm gonna try doing kind of like a salmon color, like my friend. Still reflections on Instagram suggested. She said she did that with her baby, so I'm like, that's interesting. I've tried warm blush before, which is kind of a brown, and that looked pretty decent too. Just getting a little black spot off there. Doorbell. What? Maybe a package? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Love you guys. Bye.